The heroine of this work. 15 to 19 years old. She is 170 centimeters tall, weighs 68 kilograms, and was born on February 10th. Born on February 10th, she is Aaron's childhood friend. She is half Japanese, with an Oriental mother and an Ackerman father, both of whom are believed to be almost extinct among the humans within the walls. One year before the appearance of the colossal Titan, a group of three robbers kill her parents because of her rare bloodline, but she is rescued by Aaron and taken in by the Jaeger family. When he was a child, his mother gave him a mark on his right wrist that has been passed down in his family, and after Ellen saved him, he always wears a scarf that she gave him. She is deeply in love with Aaron because he saved her life and because she has become a new member of the family. She makes it her mission to protect him, and she also has a deep bond with Armin, another childhood friend. His personality is taciturn and calm. He has acquired the ability to release the power of his body and mind during the incident in which his parents were killed, and has a higher physical ability than ordinary people. After the Titan invasion of 845, he followed Aaron into the military police and graduated at the top of his class. Aaron himself recommended that he join the military police, but he joined the scout regiment to protect Aaron. Later, it was revealed that this ability was a quality possessed only by the Ackerman family on his father's side. He has also suffered from intermittent headaches since childhood. After learning about the world situation, he is informed that his mother's ancestors were generals of the HYZL nation. When an envoy from HYZL visited her, she showed the engraving she had inherited from her mother and was recognized as a descendant of her mother and was called the Hope of HYZL, in the scene in the anime version, the engraving is shown instead of embroidered, as in the original story. In the Battle of Heaven and Earth, he was unable to accept Aaron's murder until the very end as his friends prepared to kill him, but in the end he decided to kill him himself, beheaded him, and kissed his neck. As a result, that decision cut off the unforgettable memories of the founder Ymir, and led to the elimination of the Titan's power from the Eldians. He then buried Eren at the root of a large tree in the Shiganshina district, and lived out his natural life while continuing to protect his grave. His name comes from the battleship Mikasa, the flagship of the former Japanese Imperial Navy during the Russo-Japanese War.